the next session of Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are solving this numerical by using Answers Workbench. This is a problem of steady state thermal analysis. A wall of a furnace is made up of inside layer of silica brick 120 mm thick covered with a layer of magnesite brick 240 mm thick. The temperatures at the inside surface of silica brick wall and outside surface of magnesite brick wall are 725 degrees Celsius and 110 degrees Celsius respectively. If thermal conductivities of silica and magnesite bricks are 1.7 watt per meter degree Celsius and 5.8 watt per meter degree Celsius, calculate the rate of heat loss per unit area of walls and the temperature drop at the interface. So for this, we are going to use steady state thermal. I'll double click on it. We'll first go to engineering data. As you have seen, there are two brick walls. The first one is silica brick. We need to give the isotropic thermal conductivity, which is given in the question as 1.7. The next material is magnesite brick. For this, the value of isotropic thermal conductivity is given as 5.8. So the material is made. I'll go to project and update project. Now I'll go to geometry and double click on it. I'll choose units as millimeter. XY look at. I'll go to sketching rectangle. As you know, we are using Fourier's law. Hence, the cross section is not important. The thickness value which is given to me in the question is going to be important. So, let me choose this value as say 80 by 45. Extrude. I'll choose the sketch 1, apply. The value of thickness for the first material, silica brick, is 120 mm. So that's what I have chosen. Generate. So this is the orientation I can see from here. On this face that you can see, I'm going to create a new plane. So I'll go to face, select it, new plane, generate. And look at. On this face, I am going to draw the rectangle again. I'll draw the rectangle roughly. Then I'll go to constraints, coincide, and I'm going to click on the two sides which I want to coincide. Now you can see the sketch has been made. I'll click on extrude again. I'll select the sketch to apply. Operation that I want to perform is not add material. This time it is add frozen because both the material are different. The thickness that I'm going to give is 240 mm. Generate. Now the geometry is complete. Next I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll first orient the body, then I'll go to geometry, first solid. The first solid has material silica brick, so I'll choose it from here. And the second solid has material magnesite brick. Then I'll go to mesh. I'll choose the sizing as fine. Update. Next, I'll go to steady state thermal. I'll choose the first phase over here. 
this temperature is given in the question as 725 and the temperature on the other side is given as 110 I want to find the solution of temperature gradient over the body and I also want to find out the total heat flux suppose if you want to find the temperature on the interface area what you can do is you can just suppress any one of the two solids go to solution right click insert probe temperature on this face apply then go back to the solid and show body so this is now visible next I'll go to solution solve Now here you can see the temperature profile over the body at various points you can see different temperature values if you want to get at a particular point for example the interface or somewhere else you can use this kind of an option that is called as temperature probe here you can see at the interface the temperature is 337.3 degrees celsius this will help you see the total heat flux over the body the solution that i have obtained by using ANSYS that is 5492.3 is very close to the solution which I got by theoretical method which was approximately 5545 something like that so it's quite close to the solution that I have obtained by theory so this is how you solve this numerical by using ANSYS workbench I'll be solving the same numerical by using ANSYS APDL I hope you have understood this procedure. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for latest updates of my videos. See you in the next session. Thank you.